Now you understand vector flux. Very important concept. That means you're ready for Gauss's law. Now, I don't want to go on in Gauss's law unless you really understand vector flux. So if you feel still not sure about vector flux, stop this video and go back and watch vector flux again. Okay, I want 80% I want of you to stop the video and go back. I mean, we have the stats. Okay, I'm going to track it. And if 80% of you don't go back, I'm going to be really annoyed. Okay, so let me stop. Go back. Okay, you stayed. You better understand vector flux, okay? Because here we go. This is, this is Gauss's law. Okay, here we go. Gauss's law. Okay, I'm going to give you one more chance. Okay, here we go. The electric field flux. You know what that means, right? The electric field flux through a closed surface. a closed surface equals the enclosed charge divided by the permittivity of free space. Gauss's law. This is one of the first that you're going to learn of Maxwell's equations. So extremely important. You must understand it. You must know vector flux first. So there are a couple ways we can write Gauss's law. First is like this. That is what? Yes, that's the electric field vector flux. You must understand that. So that's what it's saying. The electric field flux through a closed surface equals the charge enclosed. I'll call that Q enclosed. So we have to visualize when you see this is a closed surface, you know, a sphere with a charge in it. Over this thing, the permittivity of free space, that's really just a constant of the universe. <laughs> just a constant of the universe. It's equal to uh, 8.85 times 10 um, to the minus 12, and I don't want to mess up the unit on you, Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared, of course. Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared. You don't have to memorize the units of the permittivity of free space, but you have to understand vector, vector flux. Another way we can write it, though, is from what we learned in vector calc. Often you don't see it written this way. Often it's nice to actually show the integral. So often you'll see it written this way. It's the integral, the sum, the total sum of the flux around a closed surface. So this circle means closed surface of how do you get the flux? It's E dot dA equals Q enclosed over epsilon naught. And when you write it this way, you can see the closed surface on both sides. You can see the integrals over a closed surface and the Q, it's the charge enclosed inside that same surface. So that's the, the nice way to write it. So this is where we're going to see it a lot, where we would have to do vector calculus, except we'll do lots of nice symmetric cases where we don't really have to. Okay, so you watched it. I hope, I hope you understand vector flux.